So you're on pretrial supervision and one of the conditions is that you got to submit to random urine tests where they're testing for the presence of alcohol and or drugs. You found out that one of those tests was positive. What's going to happen next? Now, if that was your only violation, there's a good chance that the provider, the, the, the company that does the testing, uh, that they may overlook that, that nothing's going to happen. But if this is some sort of repeated pattern, if this is, you know, you're positive for, for alcohol one day, then the next test you're positive, and maybe you're missing appointments, then what could happen is that the bond, the, the, the pretrial services agency, they're going to file what's called an affidavit of non-compliance with the court. And once the judge sees that, he could do a couple of different things. He could say, okay, I reviewed it. I'm going to wait until the next court date to address it. Or he could say, I reviewed this. I'm revoking bond. I'm going to issue a warrant. So if a warrant is issued for you, if you have any police contact, they're going to arrest you. The important thing is that if you're on bond and you're required to take these tests, you want to re you know, refrain from using drugs and or alcohol. But if you find yourself having questions or if you've been taking these tests and you feel it's unfair and you feel that the court should modify the conditions of your bond, give us a call. Remember, DUI, call contact.